Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux, where we explore the coolest tech tools and operating systems that make computing fun and efficient. Today, we are talking about something truly remarkable, Tiny Core Linux. If you got an ancient PC gathering dust or you're just tired of bloated software slowing you down, this might be the game changer you've been looking for. It's an incredibly small Linux distribution that's fast, flexible, and packed with potential, despite fitting into just a few megabytes. Let's dive right in and see what makes it tick. First off, what exactly is Tiny Core Linux? It's a minimalist Linux operating system, designed to be as lightweight as possible, while still being functional. Unlike mainstream distros, that come loaded with tons of apps and features you might never use. Tiny Core strips everything down to the essentials. The project started back in 2009, building on ideas from earlier small distros like Damn Small Linux. And it's still actively maintained by a dedicated community. As of late 2025, the latest version is 16.2. And it runs on modern Linux kernel version 6.6 .6, or newer in recent updates, ensuring compatibility with today's hardware without the overhead. Now, the standard features its tiny size. The base version is under 20 MB. Yes, you heard that right, which means it downloads in seconds and boots up in mere moments even on hardware from the 90s or early 2000s. We are talking systems with as little as 64 MB of RAM and a Pentium processor. In a world where most operating system installs are gigabytes, Tiny Core proves you don't need all that bloot to get real work done. Now, Tiny Core comes in three main flavors to suit different needs. First, the Core. This is the smallest at around 11 MB. It's command line only, which is perfect for advanced users, building servers, embedded devices, or custom setups from scratch. If you are into tinkering or need something for headless operations, this is your starting point. Number two, tiny core. Clocking in at about 16 MB. This adds a basic graphical desktop using FLTK and FLWM. It's still super lean, but gives you a visual interface right away. Think of it as a sweet spot for most people who want a desktop without extras. Now, number three, which is Core Plus. A bit larger at roughly 106 MB. This includes additional tools like wireless drivers, non-USC keyboard support, and an easier installer. It's great for beginners or when you need to handle tricky hardware setups out of the box. All versions emphasize modularity. The system loads entirely into RAM for speed. And you add extensions like apps or drivers on demand using their built-in package manager called TCE. This keeps things efficient. You only install what you need, whether it's a web browser, text editor, or development tools. Getting started with Tiny Core is straightforward and quick, which is ideal for testing without commitment. Here is how you can try it. Step 1. Head to the official website, which is tinycorelinux.net, and download the ISO for your chosen flavor. It's tiny, so no long waits. Now, step 2. Use a tool like Rufus on Windows, or Bellina Eater on macOS or Linux, or even Wintoy or multi-boot USBs to write the ISO to a thumb drive. Step 3. Boot from the USB on your target machine. If you are on a modern UEFI system, you might need to switch to legacy BIOS mode for compatibility. It's a common tip for older distros like this. 
Step 4. Once booted, you'll see either the command line or a simple desktop. To add software, open the apps tools or use the TCE command to search and install extensions from their repositories. For example, type TCE dash load dash WI Firefox to grab a browser. One key thing, by default, changes doesn't save across reboots since it runs in RAM. To make your setup persistent, create a backup file or set up a storage partition. It's easy with their built-in tools, but it does require a bit of Linux know-how. Now, a pro tip. If you are new, start with the core place for extra drivers, especially for Wi-Fi. And always check the forums for community tips. They are super helpful. So, why should you care about Tiny Core? It's unique because it challenges the idea that modern computing has to be resource heavy. Here are some pros. Number one, blazing fast. It boots in seconds, runs smoothly on older hardware, extending the life of laptops or desktops that can't handle Windows or heavier Linux distros. Number two, highly customizable. Build exactly the system you want. Great for developers, hobbyists, or embedded projects like IoT devices. Now, number three, resource efficient. It uses minimal RAM and storage, which is eco friendly by reducing e waste. Now, final, number four, active community. Regular updates, extensions for everything from games to servers and it's free under the GPL license. Of course, it's not for everyone. Here is the cons include. Number one, not beginner friendly. No hand holding. You'll need basic Linux skills to configure things like persistence or hardware. Number two, limited out of the box features. You have to add apps manually. So it's not plug and play like Ubuntu. Number three and the final one is hardware support. While it works on almost anything, same modern peripherals might need extra extensions. From what I have seen in recent reviews and user stories, like folks reviving 20 year old laptops or running it on Raspberry Pi alternatives. It's a favorite among enthusiasts who love optimization. In summary, TinyCore Linux is a testament to efficient design in an era of software excess. If you are into minimalism, reviving old tech, or just experimenting, give it a shot. It's low risk and high reward. Have you tried TinyCore? Drop your experience in the comments below. And if this video helped, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech deep dives, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.